Hi there, this is Alvin from Dr. Wealth. Today, we are going to start a new video series about short-term trading in US, Hong Kong, and Singapore markets. And in each video, we will have a different guest to come and share with us uh, the aspect of short-term trading. And today, we have Marcus from SockGen. And of course, the very first thing uh, is that a lot of our local audience or local traders may not uh, be so familiar with SockGen. Maybe you can give us a bit of background about this company. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, so Marcus here uh, from Society General. So I know not everyone is very familiar with uh, Society General or SockGen for short. Uh, we are a French uh, retail bank, one of the largest French retail banks. And we are also known to be a strong structured products powerhouse. All right, so we do have a large range of structured products that are listed on the European exchanges. And we have brought in that expertise in Europe uh, on structured products into Asia and where we are one of the largest you know, uh, structural warrants, derivative warrants, and CBBC issuers in Hong Kong exchange. And also recently, I guess, you know, um, the topic of, of today, uh, we, we launched the DLCs or Daily Leverage Certificates. These are constant leverage products. And we launched them here on SGX on our local securities market uh, five years ago in 2017. Maybe Marcus, let us know what this Daily Leverage Certificate is all about. All right, so the, the DLCs, uh, which is a short for Daily Leverage Certificates, uh, is a structured product that is listed on the SGX securities market. Mm -hmm. Okay, so SOCGEN, uh, we decided to issue this new product here in Singapore on SGX back in 2017. And since then, it has grown from just 10 DLCs listed on SGX to now over 300 DLCs listed on SGX securities market. All right, so it's a structured product, as I mentioned, so it's linked to an underlying asset, mm -hmm. whether it's a stock or an index, you know, and it gives you that leverage performance on the underlying stock or index daily percentage performance. Mm. Uh, we have two times, five times, and seven times DLCs now. So, you know, a five times DLC will give you five times the performance of the underlying stock or index daily performance. All right, so SockGen, we are the issuer and the designated market maker of these uh, DLCs, which means that, you know, we are obligated to provide continuous bit of a quotes on all our 300 DLCs listed on SGX throughout the trading day for investors to buy and sell the DLCs. So there are over 300 DLCs for traders to select and what are the most popular ones? Well, yes, uh, we do have a wide range of DLCs that's listed uh, on the SGX securities market, over 300 of them. And of course, not all of them are, are you know, super actively yeah. traded. Uh, we do have the range of Singapore stock, Singapore indices, Hong Kong stock, Hong Kong indices, as well as the new ones that we launched, mm -hmm. uh, the US index DLCs. So the most popular range among you know, these 300 DLCs would definitely be the Hong Kong DLCs. So these are the Hong Kong indices as well as the Hong Kong single stock DLCs. So these are the most popular ones. On the, in, on the single stock front, we do have definitely no surprises here. We have Tencent, Alibaba, Meituan as one of the most actively traded uh, stocks uh, for, uh, under the DLCs. And then for the, the index DLCs, the, of course, the most uh, popular index that is traded on the DLCs, no surprises here again, would be the Hang Seng Tech DLCs. Which is the same. Yeah, so the, the China tech giants do have quite a dominating sort of presence uh, in this, in this uh, DLC shelf range. Uh, they are being the most popular traded ones. Um, of course, you know, we do have long and short DLCs as well. And, you know, in the past three months, uh, maybe on the back of the whole China reopening team, uh, the long DLCs have been the majority of the trades. It's interesting that to hear the Hong Kong ones are the more popular ones, and particularly Alibaba, Tencent, and Meituan. So why do you think these three in particular are so popular? Well, I think the, the Hong Kong stock, or Hong Kong DLCs uh, range has been most popular among the DLC ranges. I would say that likely one is definitely the volatility in the market. Uh, the Hong Kong stock market volatility have been quite high uh, in the past three to six months. Uh, not just the China reopening team, but in general, as well, I think you know there are a lot of news that's coming out from the Hong Kong tech. I mean, the China tech giants itself. Um, a lot of them, Alibaba, you know, um, JD, they are starting to you know split up their businesses. So this have added to the volatility of their their share prices. Mm. And I think the, the DLC traders, people who, who who are using the DLCs, they love the volatility, and and that's all. You know, the Hong Kong DLCs have been quite a popular range among the DLCs. Um, there are actually multiple reasons for that and multiple advantages for that. I think the firstly being that the DLCs allow investors to gain exposure to the underlying stock at a fraction of the cost of actually buying the stock itself. 
um, because you know these DLCs they're generally priced around twenty cents to two dollars, uh, and they come in bulk units of about hundred units, same as uh, SGX stocks, stocks, any other stocks. So you can't get buy these DLCs in smaller amounts. Whereas you know if you use the Hong Kong, stocks you, if you go and buy the Hong Kong stocks itself, um, their minimum investment sum can be quite high for some of these Hong Kong stocks on Hong Kong exchange. I think case in point, uh, for example, the BYD stock itself. I think you will need at least eighteen thousand to twenty thousand Sing dollars to gain exposure to BYD stock itself. Mm. And for Tencent itself, Tencent stock itself, I believe it is about seven thousand to eight thousand Singapore dollars just to gain exposure to the Tencent um, stock itself. So, you know, investors might have that sum of money, seven thousand or twenty thousand dollars, to invest in in these stocks, but they might not want to do it in one tranche, mm. right? They might not want to do it in one time at one go. They might want to average down or average in their position. Uh, you know, or every shop their position on these Hong Kong stocks, and they can do that using the DLCs, uh, which allows them to gain exposure in back size amounts mm. rather than a one lump sum payment inside as well. Um, and I think another advantage is definitely that the Singa- the DLCs are all traded in Singapore dollars, so you can you don't have to worry about you know changing your money from Singapore dollars to Hong Kong dollars to go to buy the Hong Kong stock itself. You can just buy the, the Singapore DLCs. And then you know that will give you the exposure without having to have the hassle of you know changing your currency and after changing back again to Singapore dollars, right? So I think that's one of the reasons. And then, and I guess another reason why investors would want to use the DLCs uh, to gain exposure to the Hong Kong stock market is so the comfort and the familiarity of the Singapore stock market. Um, so they are definitely um, very familiar with the Singapore stock market and would prefer to you know have an instrument on SGX where they are you know very sure of what the tick size range you know the bit middle bit size range or the rules on SGX that allows them to gain exposure to the Hong Kong stock market using an SGX listed instrument. My understanding is that if anyone holds a DLC overnight or over a few days, right, there's this thing called the compounding effect. Uh, can you explain to us what is this compounding effect yeah. all about? So the compounding effect is a, is a really very important, very key feature uh, when training a DLC. I cannot stress this enough. It is something that everyone has to understand. Uh, the compounding effect can work for you or against you uh, depending on what kind of market it is, right? So it can work well for you in the strong trending market, mm. uh, but it might not work so well for you in a sideways moving market, okay. right? So if the underlying consistently moves up by 2%, 2%, 2% for consecutive days, uh, and you bought the five times long DLC, you could potentially make more than five times that return because your gains and losses uh, are locked in daily. So every day, if your gains are locked in, your next day, your five times performance is based on a higher base, higher base, a higher base, and you get that compound gains uh, over a nice trending market. But if it's a sideways moving market where you know it goes up by 2%, down by 2%, down, up by another 2%, down another 2% for consecutive days, you know, um, your, your gains and losses are also locked in every day. And, you know, you might not get that five times performance over the span of that few days due to the very uh, sideways moving market. Uh, and that's where the compounding effect might not work so well for you. So this kind of compounding effect is, is very uh, evident in this kind of like leverage and inverse product. Mm. So for any of you who trade the TQQ or SQQ out there, I think this is your ProShares Ultra, NASDAQ, mm. long and short, three times, you know, ETFs that you have to in the US. Very popular. Mm instrument, um, the DLCs have exactly the same payoff as this leverage and inverse uh-huh. ETFs and they have that compounding effect as well. Uh, so those who trade that should be familiar with the compounding effect and this is something that is very very key feature in any leverage and inverse products out there. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that it is useful when a trader has a very strong directional bias, right? whether is it long or is it short. Uh, within a day, within a few days, or even for hedging purposes, mm. where they think that the stock is going to go down temporarily for the next, I don't know, one week or two weeks. So that's where DLC comes in very handily. Am I right to say that? Correct, correct. So, so I think um, it definitely works the best for you in a strong trending market. Um, in a sideways market, you know, it's important that you know you have to exercise some of your trading discipline in a sense, your cut loss or your stop loss kind of methods to be able to uh, manage your positions. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely in the long term also, you know, markets don't move in one straight line up or one straight line down. Uh, there's always such thing as mean reversion, etc. So that's why, that's why also, you know, the DLCs are not meant to be a buy and hold long term kind of instrument. It's meant to be something that you trade in the short term. Lastly, how can one trade DLC effectively? Well, I think the, the DLCs um, is a structured product, alright? So, with a structured product, it always is not as easy or straightforward as trading a stock. 
so that that's something you should investors should be aware of. Uh, so a lot a bit of homework is needed, all right. So this one you can't run away from it. Um, investors have to do a bit of homework to understand the product features of the DLC, the risks involved, the costs and fees involved, uh, as well as really the like I mentioned just now, understand what the compounding effect is. So investors can find all this information on our website, uh, Sokjen's website, DLC website, at dlc.sokjen.com. So you can understand more about all this uh, under our education tab on our website. Um, and we do have a, a range of educational videos as well for investors to you know, understand more about the DLCs. So that homework needs to be done first. Um, and then before going into the practical, and I'm not saying to, to trade yet, there's still a bit of practical homework that you need to do. So in terms of practical homework, you need to be able to know how to select the right DLC for your target exposure. Uh, and this again is, uh, we do have an educational video, practical series on this as well, uh, directing in, uh, investors how to look out for the, the most sensitive indicator that we have on the DLCs. We have it under our search page uh, and then there's a red star icon that highlights to investors what is the most sensitive DLC for that particular underline and that direction so that investors know which one to choose. Uh, to be able to get the target exposure. So definitely practical homework, um, going through the website, uh, finding out you know, what is, uh, how to make the most of the website and also find out the right information about the DLCs uh, before going into your brokerage trading platform to be able to transact, to buy and sell the DLCs that will be done on your broker trading platform. Mm -hmm. All right, so the DLC website and the broker trading platform will be definitely two very important um, platforms for you to get everything that you need about the DLCs before you start trading in them. Mm -hmm. So definitely product knowledge needs to be there because there are certain features, uh, we talk about compounding effect, uh, there are actually more that we haven't touched into, uh, which we will do probably in the future videos yeah. as well. Right. So hopefully now you understand how the DLC uh, work and if you're interested, do check out the Song Gem website with a lot of goodies and data over there and you can even get a deeper understanding through the educational video. So we will come back with more videos about short-term trading. So do watch this channel and subscribe to the channel and like this video as well. Thank you, Marcus, for coming and we will see you around. Thanks, Alvin. Thanks, everyone. Goodbye.